Our next match is a tag team title match. In this corner, the global tag team champions with a combined weight of 685 pounds, Rusty Brooks! And his partner, Jumbo Barretta! And their opponents, with a combined weight of 530 pounds, Ram Man Johnny Evans! And Soul Man Alex G! And our crutches, TJ Jackson! There you have the introductions. Uh, you see Soul Patrol making their way around ringside. Uh, they get a good shot of the Soul Man Alex G as he makes his way into the ring. It will be uh, the Soul Man Alex G and the Ram Man Johnny Evans and the assistance against the tag team champions in a championship match, Rusty Brooks and Jumbo Moretta. And of course, uh, TJ Jackson out there suffered a knee injury. He's out there on a crutch, the wounded brother, but he's uh, lending a lot of moral support anyway. There you see him. You get a shot of TJ on the crutch, uh, which is why the Soul Man Alex G is in there uh, with the Ram Man Johnny Evans in this tag team title match against the champions. And we'll find out shortly who will be moving out against who. And it looks at this point, it will be Jumbo Beretta against the Soul Man Alex G to start things off. Again, this is the Global Wrestling Alliance Tag Team Championship title match. Jumbo Beretta powers the Soul Man Alex G off quickly. Uh, Rusty Brooks and uh, Jumbo Beretta did have some comments that to be made before this match took place. Let's turn it over to uh, videotape. You know, Malenko brothers, as far as I'm concerned, you're history, because we've taken care of everything we got to do. But right now, we do have to take care of the Soul Patrol. But you know, when it's all said and done, Soul Patrol, we got a surprise for you, too. Ah, there you had the comments of Rusty Brooks. Uh, while you were listening to those Soul Man Alex G making some good work out of Jumbo Beretta with some aerial moves, arm drag takedowns. Now, uh, the Soul Man giving up definite uh, weight advantage. Well, he's using his agility and speed. He's quick. He's strong. He's surprisingly strong. Yeah, he, uh, he ran Jumbo Beretta from one side to the other and uh, maneuvered him real well. And it's Rusty Brooks moving out now against the Soul Man, Alex G. He tags up with the Ram Man, Johnny Evans. Evans and Brooks in the squared circle now. Collar and elbow, both men. And it's the Ram Man, Johnny Evans, powers off Rusty Brooks. All right, back into a collar and elbow. Oh, and you heard that. You had to hear that one. A vicious chop to the throat by Brooks on the Ram Man. Whips him off the far turn, or rather the rope. Whoa. It's the Ram Man going for the splash, missing Rusty Brooks, and ended up hitting the canvas. Oh, he went for a big clothesline. Ducks a right hand, headbutt. falls with a headbutt on Brooks. In comes Beretta. The Ram Man with a headbutt on him, as well as the Soul Man, Alex G. And both men, you know, uh, the Soul Patrol, uh, Alex G, uh, TJ Jackson, and the Ram Man, Johnny Evans, had some words in their home before this match. But we're going to turn that over to videotape also. Let's have a listen. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we have an injured brother right here, but the Soul Man and myself, we're going in the ring against Russell Brooks and Jumbo Beretta. Win, lose, or draw, we're going to make our fans proud of us because we are the Soul Patrol. Uh, they've certainly been doing that here the last few minutes, although uh, the champions have turned things back to their advantage. They whipped the Ram Whoa. Man off the ropes. Tried to double clothesline him, but uh, the That's Ram the Man... the only way to counter that is go right through it. And a flying drop kick by both the Soul Man Alex G and the Ram Man Johnny Evans and the Tag Team Champions. Now a little dazed and confused at what's happening in the ring. Some pretty teamwork there. You can see some Soul Patrol fans are getting excited. 
Uh, they said they'd make their fans, fans proud of them, and they're in the process of doing that now. Hip toss by Evans on Brooks, followed by a drop kick. You know, these guys are great with kids. I mean, adults, of course, there are fans of theirs too, but the kids really should get a tickle out of them. I, they bring them in the ring and dance with them. Right now, they got the Jumbo and uh, Rusty dancing their, to their tune. <laughs> and it was Beretta trying to keep Brooks up. Uh, holding on to the tights, Rusty Brooks falls down, brings Beretta in with him. Grandman now slams them both together, and it's Jumbo Beretta outside the ring where he should have been to begin with. And it's the Ram man, Johnny Evans, going back to work on Rusty Brooks, who puts a knee into the midsection. The Ram needs to, you know, one of the things about being a, a nice guy in terms of you can be tough, but Ram just needs to get vicious in some situations like this. He, uh, you know, he, he gets a guy hurt a little bit, and I think he starts to feel sorry for him. He needs to get that killer instinct. When he's got somebody on the ropes, put him away. Beretta with a tremendous clothesline across the chest of the Ram man, Johnny Evans, whips himself off the ropes, comes down with a leg across the throat, and he starts working on the wind of Johnny Evans, who's able to power out after a count of two. Jumbo Beretta has things well in hand at the moment. Bolo forearm now on Johnny Evans. Sends him into the corner. There you see Brooks with the cheap shot. And the soul man, Alex G, comes in. Well, technically, I mean, you got a five-second count. But all the referee can do is, is warn a man. Uh, you, if he hadn't broken five seconds, technically, he could disqualify him. But uh, the rules really get stretched sometimes, and that was one of them. Well, the abdominal stretch uh, now being applied to the Ram man, Johnny Evans, by Jumbo Beretta, getting some help from his partner, Rusty Brooks, as he adds additional leverage to that hold, and that's got to be punishing the rib area of the Ram man, Johnny Evans. There's a shot of T.J. Jackson not liking what's going on outside the ring, but the tag champions, Brooks and Beretta, continue to administer punishment on the Ram man, Johnny Evans. It's Brooks right now moving out against Evans. Into the ropes. Oh, and a punishing move to the back. The forearm to the back of the Ram man, Johnny Evans. And he'll tag up with Jumbo Beretta. Beretta moves in now. He'll whip uh, Johnny Evans off the ropes for a bear hug into a power slam. Well, and that rocked the ring. They are, they know they didn't get him, but they, what they're doing is they're working on his back. Uh, he was he was injured a, a few weeks ago by death row. They got his ribs uh, banged up real good, and these guys are, uh, Rams fighting back now, but they, you can see they've got him worn down. Uh, it's Brooks going to work now uh, on the Ram man, Johnny Evans, who's been in there for a long time. Back into that abdominal stretch, and he makes the tag with his partner, Rusty Brooks. Well, that's a submission hold, and uh, it also, uh, whether you make a man oh. or not, it takes a lot out of him. Uh, you gotta, you're carrying, he's carrying your weight, he's being stretched, he can't breathe. Uh, it's psychologically, uh, it's uh, got everything in the world working for the man uh, administering it. Ram needs to get out of there. Whoa! A leapfrog over oh. Brooks, and he takes a knee in the small of the back by Jumbo Beretta. Now a headbutt by Brooks. Uh, just when it appeared that the Ram man was getting things back together, the global tag team champions, Brooks and Beretta, come back at him with something else, and he finds himself now outside the ring and under the concrete floor. And referee Frankie Reyes now begins to administer the count. And Johnny Evans back up on his feet. Oh, it takes a boot into the face by Rusty Brooks and back down on the floor goes the Ram man, Johnny Evans. And it's Brooks moving out to Beretta now. And he will toss Evans back into the ring. Yeah, that's a smart move. Get him back in the ring and beat him. Don't let him be counted out. That's a cheap move. Well, not only that, I don't think they've got him beat down enough to count him out, but they might have weakened him enough to, to uh, get the three count. There they go to work again on the back of the Ram man, Johnny Evans, who desperately needs to tag up with his partner at this point. Bob probably should have done it long ago. Rusty Brooks moving around the ring. Uh, where is he going? He's making a move down to a neutral corner. Oh, wait a minute. Uh oh, what's Tom Nash? Tom First thing's happening. Nash, Nash is over the other there. Right there, you see TJ Jackson and Brooks. Now you use Tom, Tom Nash. 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 Now Brooks coming back in the ring. And it's the Ram man, Johnny Evans, with an abdominal stretch on Jumbo Beretta. But here comes Brooks with the crutch from TJ Jackson. 
Hey, it's a right square across the back. The Ram Man goes down. Frankie Reyes turns around. Perez on top gets the cover. Right in the three count. Well, you know, Frank, they said in that interview we saw earlier, they had a surprise. And that's 